Hi guys, Justin Brown here. One of the questions I'm asked quite a lot and I see it pop up on forums all the time is, I'm on a Mac, what video editing software should I use? Well, here's my answer. The key thing to remember when you're choosing your editing software is to remember that it's just a tool to get the job done. Now obviously there's cheap and free tools and then there's really expensive tools. So the key is to work out how much you want to spend, what it is you actually want to do, and how many features you need included in order to do what you're after. So for entry level software, I'd recommend something along the lines of iMovie or of ScreenFlow. They'll let you perform all your basic editing functions, cutting the footage, removing bits and pieces, adding text, adding photos, panning across photos, even basic green screen functionality, you'll be able to find in ScreenFlow and in iMovie. So moving up from ScreenFlow and iMovie, you'd be looking at your Adobe Premiere Pro and also your Final Cut X. Now with these come far greater control in your editing. You'll be able to control all of your effects, um, more control over your multiple layers of videos, multi-camera editing, um, advanced effects, advanced color correction, audio editing, so much more control over your audio tracks. There's also a lot of preset effects and templates that you can use that are included in these editing software. Premiere Pro and Final Cut X also let you import a larger range of video file types. So whether it's your smartphone or up to professional video cameras, there's actually a lot more support in there for a wider range of video file formats. If you're not quite sure where to start, try and get hold of a 30-day trial of the software that you're looking at and give it a go and see how intuitive it is for you and how quick you can actually edit in that software. The other thing you'll find is that learning the shortcut keys will be pretty similar across the board. So if you start out with a ScreenFlow or an iMovie and you start to learn the keyboard shortcuts, it won't be like starting fresh as you move up to a Final Cut X or Adobe Premiere or even above that to something like Avid. It's learning the editing principles that are the key, and from there, you can apply them to whichever software that you're using. I hope that helps. Make sure you subscribe at videoeditingcoach.com and to our YouTube channel for everything video editing and video production.